Hi friends, hope you're all doing good. Today we'll make this amazing black forest cake using stabilized amul whipping cream. For that I have taken all purpose flour maida 2 cups, milk powder 1 cup and cocoa powder 1/2 cup. 1 teaspoon of baking powder and 1/2 a teaspoon of baking soda. We'll give it a quick mix. and sift all these together now we will mix all the sifted ingredients until it combines well this completes the preparation of dry ingredients we'll now prepare our wet ingredients for that i have taken curd and milk mixed in 1 is to 1 ratio half a cup of vegetable oil and 1 and 1/2 cups of powdered sugar or icing sugar adding a teaspoon of vanilla essence and a teaspoon of vinegar whisk all these together for 5 to 10 minutes and keep it aside whisking it for 5 to 10 minutes is very important so that your cake becomes spongy and fluffy Before we mix the dry and wet ingredients, we'll keep a kadai for preheating. Here I'm adding some salt and keep a stand and cover it and keep it for 10 minutes at medium flame. Now we'll mix the dry and wet ingredients. Here I'm adding dry ingredients gradually into wet ingredients. Fold it very gently so that you'll not make the cake hard. We'll keep adding some milk until we get that perfect consistency. Now we'll grease the cake tin. Here I've taken eight-inch cake tin, greasing it with oil and putting a butter paper. Now we'll pour in our cake batter, which is perfectly done. After you pour in the cake batter, tap it twice or thrice to remove the air bubbles and keep it inside the preheated kadai. We'll bake this for 35 to 40 minutes at medium flame. Here I've kept it for 38 minutes and our cake is ready as nothing is sticking to this toothpick. After it gets cooled down, we'll remove it from the sides like this and demold it. will prepare the sugar syrup for that i have taken few chopped cherries and adding 3 teaspoons of sugar to this we'll add some water and allow it to boil after it boils for 5 minutes switch off the flame and allow it to cool now we'll prepare our frosting here i have taken amul whipping cream 1 and 1/2 cups the whipping cream and the bowl in which i am going to whisk it is pre-chilled for 1 and 1/2 hours and start whisking until you get soft peaks after you get soft peaks you can add vanilla essence 1 teaspoon and some powdered sugar or icing sugar half a cup whisk it again until you get stiff peaks using only amul whipping cream you may not get those stiff peaks and also it becomes vp To make it stabilize, I have taken whipping powder, Baker's whipping powder, two teaspoons of Baker's whipping powder, and again whisk it for five to seven minutes until you get proper stiff peaks. Becomes more stabilized if you keep it in the refrigerator for thirty to forty minutes before you start frosting. Here I am starting the frosting. Here I have taken first layer of the cake, and I am going to moist it with the sugar syrup which we have already prepared after we moist it completely with the sugar syrup we'll add our whipped cream and spread it evenly now we'll keep the second layer of cake
now i apologize for putting the cream first so we'll add the sugar syrup after we keep the second layer and then we'll add the whipped cream again spread it evenly to get the proper perfect shape Our crumb coating is done now. We'll refrigerate it for 20 to 25 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll prepare our dark chocolate flakes. Here I have taken dairy milk dark chocolate bar and peeling it to make into flakes. Now our second round of frosting is also done, which I am not showing here. And now pressing all our dark chocolate flakes on the sides of the cake like this. And now we'll add the remaining whipped cream in a piping bag with a star nozzle. You can use any nozzle of your choice and pipe it onto the cake like this. Decorate with some cherries and also put some chocolate flakes at the center. And believe me, Amul whipping cream tastes too good. Now our tasty black forest cake made with Amul whipping cream is ready. But do not forget to stabilize it. You can definitely try it at home and let me know how it was in the comment section. Hoping you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, please hit like, do share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And then we'll meet with the new tasty recipe. Until then, take care of yourselves. Have a nice day.